and she was especially proud of her early fight for the women who cleaned commercial buildings. This is Inez from the play Seven. And one meeting, the bosses were talking about cutting the budget for cleaning and how that was essential for good finance. So I looked around at all of them, all the gray suits across the table, and I asked, does that mean that you're going to cut your pensions and your benefits as well? Because 100 of you costs as much as 10,000 of these women. And when peace came closer for Northern Ireland, Inez demanded that the Good Friday Agreement include explicit provisions for gender equality and human rights. This is again from Seven. What I would like to see in this Good Friday Agreement is some provision that requires any public policy to be tested with this impact on the most invisible. And secondly, that requires that the most invisible be involved in that measurement. So we all went out and campaigned for participation. And finally, we got it through. Only through participation can rights be realized and kept. One day I was working in my Participation and Practice of Rights project with a group of women in North Belfast. And we're sitting around together in a small dark room in a community hall. And the sewage is coming up in the sinks. And these women, they've survived the worst, you know. And we're reading the Declaration of Human Rights out loud till we get to the word inalienable. And I can hardly say it myself. It's hard to pronounce. So they all start laughing. And they think I'm saying alien. And they think I'm talking about outer space. And I said, it's hard to spell, too. But what does it mean, anyhow, one of the women asks. That word, inalienable. Well, it means that we have the rights that we're reading about, they're part of every human being. Well, what do we have to do to get these rights? Well, they're yours, I said. They belong to you because you're a human being. And she looks at me, amazed. Well, that's the best fucking kept secret in the whole world, so I hope so. <laughs>